welcome to all the viewers. Today is the first exciting session of learning epidemic curves in three minutes. So let's begin. An epidemic curve is an important concept in outbreak investigation when we perform descriptive epidemiology. What is an epidemic curve? Is It's a graphic depiction of number of cases of the disease which are new in nature because we see a sudden increase in the number of cases and we study them over time especially based them based on the date of onset of the disease so what's very important in making an epidemic curve is your y-axis is formed by the date of onset of the disease and date at which different cases occur and your y-axis is the number of cases now what is important to remember about an epidemic curve is by just looking at the shape of an epidemic curve you can find out what's the pattern of spread of outbreak so today we'll be looking at what are the different patterns of epidemic curves so the first one is known as a point source epidemic curve now in this one generally you will have a common source like a contaminated food or infected food handler and all exposures tend to occur in a relatively brief period so for a point source epidemic you will have a short incubation period there will be a sudden increase in the number of cases followed by a steep decline so this means that there has been a common source of exposure but once the exposure has occurred all cases have occurred within the range of one incubation period and then there are no more cases after the last case has occurred the next pattern of epidemic curve is known as a continuous common source epidemic this is a graph taken from the classic cholera epidemic described by dr john snow in 1854 in london which was caused by um, polluted water from one of the broad street pumps in that particular area now here you can see again is that there is a sharp increase in the number of cases followed by a decline however we need to understand here that all the cases in this particular condition have not occurred within single incubation period which means that there is an ongoing source of contamination which has been go been going for a long period of time now you can also see here that in this case the down slope of the curve is very sharp because the handle was removed the infected pumps handle was removed on September 8th so there was a sudden decrease in the number of cases however the contamination still continued and the last variety is propagated epidemic this graph shows you that there are several cases of the disease occurring so there are intermittent peaks here and you can see that after the first case or the index case has occurred there are successively large peaks of the disease and within the range of the incubation period so this is known as a propagated or a progressive source epidemic so what we have learned today is different patterns of epidemic curves and what diseases can occur during an epidemic so thank you and that's all from me thank you very much keep watching and do subscribe